Hey, what is happening? What is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel. Hopefully this video gets a bit of like new faces on it and hopefully enjoy the, the video. Hopefully you learn something. So I make a lot of tutorials for, I wouldn't say advanced people, but more, I'd say like probably intermediate to advanced people. But what I thought I'd do is make a completely beginner friendly tutorial. I'm going to go through it very, very basic so that you can create your first scene and you can get into blender because a lot of times what happens is you well this is what happened to me i uh i downloaded blender a few years ago and tried to create something when i double clicked and i got into this obviously normally what happens is you've got a default cube you've got a sunlight and you've got a i think it's a camera i'm not 100 sure i think it is um i've obviously changed my setup but i'm going to do it like this for you and all you do is just delete these so you click on it so if it's got a camera let me just quickly show you cube and then all you do is you click on it and then hit delete and it will delete it so you can delete all your things yeah your sunlight and that kind of stuff but what happens is when you click you don't even know how to move around so you need a mouse and all you do is that middle scroll wheel click it down and then move your mouse and then it allows you to move like this and you could zoom in with that middle scroll wheel and then clicking is normal so you can just click there click click etc okay this is how to move around like i said this is going to be a completely basic blender tutorial let me just delete the camera so what you want to do is let's just create a scene very basic very simple and hopefully learn a few things so you're going to go shift a and then you're going to go up here and look for a plane click there and then with it selected hit s and move your mouse to drag it to make it bigger something like that is perfect okay now what you want to do is go shift a again and get a cube so mesh cube okay then you're going to click here on the z to go to top view hit g with the cube selected drag it here and then go g again and then drag it the so with your mouse Hold down the middle scroll wheel while you're moving it so that it moves in line okay like that let's find somewhere yeah okay then what you want to do is go s scale it up to somewhere like like that then hit g again and drag it with the middle scroll wheel held in like that now you can see we got this now you want to go to x like that and then click here on scale and hit the blue bring this up somewhere like that and now this is where our plane is so you can see where it's red so you just hit x roll the scroll wheel click on the, the cube that you've changed g and bring it just to there okay now go to z so we're in the top view hit shift d to duplicate and then bring this here to the side Okay, now if I zoom in, you can see I've got one here and one there. This is what we want. Okay, doesn't really matter how big these are, as long as they are big enough. Now, zoom in somewhere like that, and then go Shift A and get a camera. So look here for camera. Boom. Now, what you want to do is hit Control Alt Zero, and this snaps the camera to your view. So if I move it like this. Now select the camera, same thing you'll see this camera will shift a little bit. So control alt zero, it moves it. Now what you want to do is move the camera. But let's change the aspect ratio. So we don't want this, we want it to be like kind of cinematic. So click over here, and click this and go 1920 by 1080. This is basically a 16 by 9 ratio. So now you click on your camera with it selected and you go to shift x so you can now move it like this so we want it somewhere like this in the y up shift this a little bit something like that and now you can bring the focal length back okay we can always adjust it later you kind of want it somewhere like that doesn't have to be perfect or you can find a spot like this so with your camera selected control alt zero this looks a little bit better just shift x somewhere like 
something like this. Okay, so it's perfect. Now make sure in cycles, so click here, cycles, make sure that's selected. If you click on your camera here, it'll go back to your camera view, so your output view basically. So click there, boom, that's what we're basically going to render out. Now what you want to do is get a light, because you see, uh, let's click here on world, and click on this and bring this all the way to dark. And now if I go here, to our rendered, this is basically what, I, what it's going to look like when we render. But we don't have any lights, so it's not going to look good at all. So click here, go shift A, let's get a light. And lights are over here. What you want to do is let's get a point light. Click there and this comes up. Now go to Z and then hit G and then drag it somewhere like that. Then go to X. You can see it's here. So our cameras, we want to just bring it up a little bit. So G, bring it up. If we go here to wire mode, you can see it over here. Now we can just bring it there. It's perfect. Go back to camera. Go back here. And now if I go to rendered view, there's a little bit of light. Okay. We want to Click on the light, so with your point light selected, click here, and this is the power. So you can see if I go 100, it will make it brighter. Okay, so let's make it something like 250. That looks good. You can see this is basically Blender's thing. If you click here, this is what it will look like when you render. You'll see, you won't see, you won't see this. Okay, this is just while you're working in Blender. This is what it'll look like. Okay. Now let's go back here to viewport shading so we can work a little bit better. Okay, now what you want to do is go to a website like Sketchfab and sketchfab.com and you can download some free models. So what we can do is just look for something. So let's say you want a you can click there, downloadable. Let's see what they've got. You can see they've got a sapphire girl. So you can just click on this. It's free. If it's got the dollar sign, obviously you've got to pay for it. He has a Porsche car. He has a human. What are we going to go with? What do you guys think? Let us go with a, let's go with a, the woman. Because, yeah, it'll be a bit easier. So you click there and this will come up. Now you can pick any of these. Normally I'll go with GLTF. Hit download. And it will download, yeah. Okay, and then once it's downloaded, it will come up here. So it will be in your downloads most probably. So just click there. Go to downloads. Click on it, right click. And then you want to extract all. And then extract. Boom. And then move it to somewhere where you'll know where it is. So I'm going to put in my documents. Just so it's easier to find when I'm in Blender. Okay, you can close this. Go back to Blender. Let's just go here. And then you... To import the model, very easy, go to File, Import, and look for GLB or GLTF, click on it, and look for where it has been saved. Mine is there, double click, and then double click on that, and it will import the model. Okay, make sure that it's selected like this, go to Z, and then hit G, and bring it like this. And then what you want to do is click on Rotate, and the blue, click on this, and just rotate the model. Yeah, it's just somewhere like that. If you want it to be exact, you can just click on there and you can move it like this rotation if you want. But usually I'll just do this. Now, click here. Let's go here. Boom. And you can see we're starting to get something. Okay, you can change the color of your light. So your point light. Boom. What I'm actually going to do is zoom in. So click on your camera first and then go back here. Yeah. Zoom in. Just to somewhere like this. We want to get kind of your model compositionally in the middle. Okay, so shift it like that, like that. And that looks pretty good. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect, but this looks pretty nice. Okay, got the light coming through. Let's just change the color. So point light. Click on this, yeah. And you can change it like this to like a blue, any color you want. Okay, we can go with like a red. Let's go with like a red. Red looks good. Now, you can see this is what it's going to look like when you render. Okay, I'm not going to go into too much shading stuff. I'm not going to go into 
like too complicated things what i'm going to do is just show you to add a bit of volume so you know that like kind of cinematic fog that kind of stuff and how do you do that it's really easy you're going to go shift a get a mesh get another cube then just click here so we can see what we're doing go s and scale it up so that it covers there so you can see it doesn't have to cover the whole scene but it needs to cover your model so if i click on the cube go s and bring it there you'll see when i render it's not going to render our scene is going to render the cube so you want it to be just big enough so you can see our stuff okay now what you want to do is with the cube selected go here to shading and hit new this will come up click on the principal bsdf so just click on it or get a white thing around it hit delete then go shift a search and type in volume what you want to get is a principled volume and then what you want to do is drag this volume into the volume so like this into that volume okay and then click on a density make it 0 0.05 layout and now let's have a look and you can see it gets that nice glow okay if you don't want this light to if i do this to make that kind of thing what you can do is click here go to the point light go to wire mode Z, and then just bring it behind the cube so G bring it like that and you'll see you'll have to probably bring the intensity up so let's go back here boom okay it's not bright enough you can see so we'll have to blast it to maybe like a thousand maybe even more let's make it five thousand it's a little bit much so you'll never get it right perfectly every time and it's really starting to look quite nice so you can see this is what it'll look like rendered click yeah that's everything in this rectangle is what will be rendered and you can see that's basically the scene like i said it's really easy it's really simple but hopefully you learned a few things like i said this is going to be a it was a, a basic basic blended tutorial i'm not even texturing the walls it's just so you can render your first scene but how do you render it so what you're going to do is click here on render make sure cycles are selected click here on max samples and make it like 200 and then go down here to performance and then just change this to 256 then to render just hit f12 on your keyboard and this will come up so you'll see it will start to render the tiles and there we go that's your render then all you do is click on image save and you just save it to wherever you want on your thing and it is 100 percent on your computer and you can do whatever you want with it so you can always like i said you can add like a car here, instead of the human model you can add anything you want you can move the camera around once you've created something like this then you can save the scene so you can click here on file and say save and this will save the scene so it can be untitled dot blender you can rename it and dot blend files is like full scenes in blender obviously so hopefully you enjoyed the video feel free to check out the patreon link in the description feel free to check out blender kits got 10 percent off for you and hopefully you enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe and i'll see you in the next video peace